Hey yo, what's going on, bruh? It's 10 5 Plays. And I'm back with this video. Now, I've been wanting to do this for a while. And it's all about the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League. You know, you get conflicting reports. Do people want it? Do people not want it? Do I want it? And that's what it's about. How do I feel about the Zack Snyder cut of Justice League? Am I a hashtag release the Snyder cut guy? Or am I not? So. We all saw Justice League, and yes, it was a piece of shit. I was astounded when I left the theaters. You know, when you first watch it, you get a kind of shock value, and then you watch it again, and you just realize how fucking bad it is. You know what I mean? It was like fucking mind-blowing. Batman on the ground holding his knees like a fucking episode of Family Guy? It was terrible, so when news came out that, you know, that wasn't even the actual movie, you kind of think, alright, oh, whatever. Then when people start speaking up, and they're like, yo, it really wasn't. There's a whole other cut of the movie that ain't nobody seen. And then the movement starts. So now I'm like, shit, man, I don't know. At this point in time in 2020, quarantine 2020, can I say that I want to see the fucking Snyder Cut of Justice League? Well, let's look into it. Let's look into what other people say. Now, I went on Facebook in two groups. I made a simple question. Do you want to see the Snyder Cut? And if you do, why? If you don't, why the fuck not? And I got some, I got some answers. This is from a young man named David, answering my post. To be realistic, the movement is getting ridiculous now. It's not as showing set pics and etc., but nothing's happening. WB aren't even thinking about it. All right. So then you have my motherfucking boy Samuel. Samuel, shout out to you, bruh. Samuel says, the pinnacle of Snyder's vision for his Superman arc and the pure, unfiltered version he wants to show us. And that's why he wants it. You got my man Connor. What's up, Connor? Connor says, pretty much he wants to see Green Lantern. I feel you, bruh. I don't know if he would have been in it, but I feel you. I'm not going to read all these shits. You know what I mean? Right, here's someone who wants it. People say nothing is happening yet. There's been multiple examples of things happening from contests to support the fans, creators, Subway and others. Hashtag release the Snyder Cut has transformed into a movement that is donated to charity, raised awareness for suicide and more, which is all great and all, but it really has no bearing on if I want to see this shit or not. Now, right, here we go. Samuel again. Zack Snyder has never bullied or harassed anyone yet disgruntled quote unquote fans make fun of his loss of a daughter blame the version of justice league we got in theaters on him and more yet we have affleck gal momoa fisher ezra and more all supporting him because they want their real work to come to public eyes also all right you got dudes proud supporter wait on butchered for disney paid him off i don't believe that Anything's better than the overabundance of Matt Reeves and Twilight Pattinson's Batman news. And then you have my man Raheem. Really wish I could support the Snyder Cut movement, but since it's turned into a toxic cesspool of neckbeards, it's kind of fucking hard. So you have people contesting him and whatnot. Let's see. Really don't care anymore. I don't know anything about it, but what does it hurt? I don't want overhyped trash. It's not important. Movie is finished. They fucked it up. Now more important is looking for future movies. People just want to see a good Justice League. I don't care about Snyder's movies or his cut. His Man of Steel and BVS made me lose interest in JL. There was a simple premise about Batman vs Superman and still it failed. His portrayal of the characters I don't like. Alright so I looked into what was supposed to happen. And it was supposed to have a lot more dark side, you know what I'm saying? It was supposed to kind of feel more like a sequel to Batman vs Superman than what we got. You know, a lot of people felt like the nightmare scene came out of left field and then Justice League happened and it was like, well, what the fuck? And I get that. The whole Justice League movie, none of it really continued the story the way that people wanted to see it continued. And it shows, Justice League was a just disjointed mess of garbage and fucked up cgi faces and added screens and added scenes with fucking static green screens behind them brunch 
it was it, it, it was bad so for me personally i'm interested if i if if they were like yo the snyder cuts out i'd be like all right i'll go see it but it's not something i think i would push for and i'm gonna tell y'all why look it seemed a lot like this the snyder cut of the movie was going to set up members of the justice league to be their own characters which is great especially cyborg because i felt like cyborg was kind of fucked over in the movie and i felt like he had one of the best parts Zack Snyder said Cyborg was the heart and soul of Justice League and he clearly was not in what we got. We had a lot more scenes of Atlantis and Aquaman and you know it, it, it did take those characters and try and set them up for something more but at the same time now we had an Aquaman movie. Wonder Woman Seek was coming out. The Flash movie's moving forward. You know Ben Affleck dropped. Henry Cavill where the fuck he's at I don't, he's gone so at the end of the day uh zack snyder cut of justice league would solve nothing because everything else has moved on ben affleck is gone bruh and even then this justice league was supposed to be a multi-part movie where batman died at the end which i thought was fucking preposterous but you know at least it wasn't like he was trying to set shit up to have a, a, a thousand movies in the universe with these characters at least he was trying to he had a start to the story and an end of the story which was fine but at the same token that's yeah, over he's gone none of that shit's gonna happen the world has moved on in continuity of the movies and in life ben affleck's done robert pattinson is batman now he's probably gonna be the fucking goat matt reeves is dope but you know that's gone Superman, I don't know, he's nowhere to fucking be found. He was having lunch with Shazam. And, you know, again, we have Shazam now. We have Black Adam coming out. We have all this shit. New Wonder Woman, new Aquaman, Flash. The only thing I'm really disappointed in is Cyborg, but we've recently heard that, you know, he might actually have a future in DC movies after all, which is something I really want to see. So, for me, I don't really see a need or a point to have all this commotion about a movie that changes nothing and affects nothing you know i could see if they had something come up where they took parts of what he was doing and integrated them into future films but it's 2020 the movie's done and it's over and the entire franchise has moved forward and because it moved forward what's the point in fucking going back it will do nothing the Snyder Cut of Justice League can come out and be a masterpiece and it will be a masterpiece of nothing because it ain't going to lead anywhere. People have moved on, the movies have moved on, the characters have moved on, so there's really no point in it being there. And I can see interest in wanting to see it because Justice League did suck ass and I can see dudes being like, you know what, this does sound better. But at the same token, you do have people who fucking despise Man of Steel who fucking despised Batman vs Superman thought that he doesn't get the characters that he fucked them up you know blah 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 you know we can go into the issues that people have with the movie all day so it's not like the Snyder Cut's gonna come out and every DC fan is gonna be like this is the fucking greatest thing I've ever seen in my life it's probably not gonna happen and that's just something we gotta realize certain people want to see it out of pure speculation but pure speculation and just wanting to see what happens isn't really motive enough at least for me to see getting everything needed to make this movie get made especially when the end result can be something that a large majority of people don't fucking like like the last movies that he did and you know it's a shame that we we, we probably won't see what happens we might but we might not but at the same time i'm really hyped to see the next Shazam movie. I'm hyped to see Shazam interact with Justice League members. You know, I'm hyped to see Black Adam. I'm hyped to see the JSA in a Black Adam movie. You know what I mean? It's the part that's dividing the fan base is that people are acting like it's it. It's done. DCEU is dead. And if you see my video on Birds of Prey, you know what? Warner Brothers was acting the same way. They did everything they could to kind of make it disconnected from the largest universe they had, even though they were in fucking Gotham City with Ace Chemicals getting blown up and fucking Batman not being anywhere around. But yeah, it is what it is. But the universe has moved on. Shazam is a DCEU movie. It takes place after Justice League. 
Aquaman takes place after Justice League. Wonder Woman does not, but she's still going strong. There's a whole lot of future outside of Zack Snyder's movies that I feel like people just can't fucking accept. Every time I see a post about it, some shit, the comics are filled with fucking toxic assholes on both sides. Oh, fuck Zack Snyder and his movies. I don't want to see that shit. All right. And then there's, well, Shazam wasn't done by Zack Snyder. Aquaman wasn't done by Zack Snyder. So fuck it. It's garbage. It's kitty garbage. They don't want to be dark or do this like Zack Snyder did. And everything's all happy. They're trying to be fucking another movie studio. Like all this dumb shit. And that's the type of shit that's putting the fan base in half and making people look like assholes. You know, the world doesn't revolve around one fucking man and his vision. And obviously it doesn't because the world has moved on. It's moved on. The stories have moved forward. Whoever needed to be introduced got introduced. And then they had their own time to shine and, and develop as characters. So I really don't see a need to see the Snyder Cut. You know, I really hope that the new God's movie comes out so that it can further expand on Apocalypse and those characters. You know, it's sad that we didn't get to see Darkseid in it, but he's going to have his chance to shine. I don't think we have to go back to the past and cry because we didn't get what we thought we deserved, what we wanted. We got a piece of shit. It is what it is. But they're moving forward and they move forward with some great things. And I don't think any of those great things should be discredited because some fans didn't get the movie that they wanted. You know what I mean? So, do I want the Snyder Cut? No. I'm sorry. I'm sure to piss people off. But it is what it is. That's it, bruh. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. You know, stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be a doozy. I don't know what it is yet, but it's going to be fire. You know what I mean? So, I hope y'all enjoying your quarantine. I'm enjoying mine. It's been great. Being stuck in a house 24 hours a day with no fucking place to go. So I'm doing this video. Alright? So, hope y'all enjoyed it. Peace.